Taylor Swift's partner Travis Kelce applauds Singapore's cutting-edge features that aren't found in the U.S. Football player from America Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Travis Kelce, has expressed his admiration for Singapore's sophisticated architecture, pointing out that it is not found in the U.S. During his recent appearance on the New Height podcast, Kelce discussed his visit to the city-state, saying, I was amazed by the lighting on the street, it's just so thought out. The street lights, the building lights, the bus stop, the lighting that they have there are very nice, like you just don't think about we don't have that in America. As someone who enjoys gardening, Kels continued, he went to the Flower Dome. When in Singapore, visit the world's largest greenhouse. He also marveled at Marina Bay Sands, comparing it to a boat on the top of three pillars, saying it was sleek and looked just like the pictures he had seen of Singapore before his trip. Everything there is high-tech and you can tell that it's very well planned out from an architectural standpoint, said the athlete. According to reports, Kels arrived in Singapore on March 7 in order to catch up with Swift and go to two of her six completely booked shows there as part of her The Era's tour. The following evening, the pair was spotted dining at a Japanese restaurant inside the Marina Bay Sands Resort Complex. After Swift's tour dates in Singapore ended on March 9, the two returned to the United States. They were reportedly present at an Oscar after-party in Los Angeles on March 10, which drew celebrities like actors Cillian Murphy, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jennifer Lawrence, according to E! News. Earlier this week, the athlete was also seen driving to Swift's private home in Beverly Hills. The 35-year-old Kels has established himself as a key member of the Kansas City Chiefs, breaking multiple NFL records in the process. Prior to dating Swift, he was in a five-year relationship that ended in May 2022 with model Kayla Nicole. Swift, who is also 35, first became well-known for her country music before switching to pop. Four of the 14 albums in her discography are remastered versions dubbed Taylor's version. Forbes estimates that she has a net worth of $1.1 billion, greatly boosted by the success of the era's tour in 2023. She was named the 2023 Person of the Year by Time magazine. She set a record for the most wins in this category earlier this year when she won her fourth album of the year for Midnight's, making Grammy history.